Hey guys and welcome back. Today I'm doing a video today that is exciting for me and uh, it's random. It is a fulfilling one of my life fantasies, kind of a bucket list item, YOLO lifestyle. Let's do this. I am going to be wearing a hoop skirt that I bought off of Amazon random I know so let me give you a little backstory here because of YouTube I discovered Kimberly Clark who is a drag queen like social justice warrior activist type who was doing these anti haul videos that like kind of swept the beauty community for a while YouTube was all about these anti hauls if you want to know my thoughts about anti hauls I'll link my video up here I don't have a lot to say about Andy Halls, although I did enjoy Kimberly Clark's videos. But I did kind of fall down the Kimberly Clark rabbit hole and watched a bunch of her videos. And one of the videos that really stood out to me was she made some desk dividers, like custom made out of like cardboard or whatever for her drawers, which I thought was really amazing. I am not talented or patient enough to do it, so I just went with like the pre-built IKEA dividers that like fit in the drawers because I'm lazy and I can't cut straight. But anyway, that's a different story. The point is, she was doing all this construction for her drawers because she had like con would her beauty studio set up. And I had never heard of KonMari before. I know it's like a huge trend, but this was kind of my first exposure to KonMari. And basically the premise was like if you own it you have to be able to see it because you enjoy owning it you love having it or you need it and like it should make your like when you open your drawer it should be like that same experience as when you open up a shop drawer and like everything's beautiful looking and uh, it fills your heart with joy which I love that philosophy so I went out and bought the KonMari books. There was two books, Spark Joy and another one which was like more in depth that had like illustrations on how to fold your clothes and everything. That's the book that I would recommend, but I did read both. Um, so I would go for the book with the illustrations because I just think it's more helpful and more practical, a little less like philosophy and a little more like how to. Anyway. <laughs> Anyway, none of this really has to do with anything except I've really like stepped up Comrie in my life and I own a lot of things that I love. Obviously I own things that I don't love but I need to have right at the moment and like once they have fulfilled their purpose, I am much better at like letting things go, not hanging on to like old baggage, um, and just having like a house that makes me filled with joy. Like when I open my kitchen cabinets and everything looks beautiful and like a show home, like it, it fills my heart with joy. And so my closet has been filling up with joy more and more, especially since I've been like sewing and creating my own clothes, which is, even if my clothes that I create aren't that good, technically, fashionistically, uh, probably environmentally it's not that hot to be sewing your own clothes but like overall like just the fact that I generated these things is really amazing to me and it fills me with a lot of joy but there's one thing in my closet that has been lacking forever and in Conmarie she was talking about a specific situation where this person had some like weird outfits in their closet that they could only wear like at costumed events and she was like, but I don't want to get rid of these even though I can't wear them regularly because they fill me with so much joy. And Con Marie was like, hey, you should still, or Marie Kondo, I should say. Marie Kondo was still like, hey, you should hold on to those and like just wear it around the house if it makes you that happy. Like, why not? What item, well, I already knew in the back of my mind what item like I needed to complete this like fantasy super filled with joy moment in my life and like I'd come close in the past I've had several like of these costume pieces which have been very close but never full hoop skirt and so that is what I got now because it's a at home only dirty secret <laughs> sort of item I didn't want to spend a lot of money on it so I thought, everybody's buying stuff on Wish on 
all these like really super cheap websites. As a Canadian, I don't know, I just feel kind of limited to like Amazon. <laughs> so I checked on Amazon to find the cheapest hoop skirt that I could get with the nicest looking thumbnail. So let's go ahead and see how I did. So because I wanted the authentic hoop skirt experience, we're talking like prior attire level hoop skirt, I actually went ahead and bought a proper undergarment. So I bought what's called the Butelicates Full A-Line 6 Hoop Floor Length Bridal Gown Dress Slip Petticoat P08. And this thing, it comes in a million different colors. I just went with white. $26.99 Canadian, free returns, free shipping. I mean, the reviews on it are actually very well good too. They're like, it's cheaper to buy it than it is to make it. If you wanted to like reinforce it, you could use the hoops that come inside of it to create your own garment. So I thought this was a great investment. No real reason not to go for it. Pretty safe purchase, even if the actual gown doesn't work out. So then the gown that I picked out, and this took me days to go through what Amazon.ca had to offer, and I ended up settling on an OK Bridal Women's Sweet 16 Quincinera dress. Uh, it's listed as blush pink off-shoulder lace, long prom, prom ball gown plus sizes. And I purchased it in navy blue, but again, it comes in literally like 30 different colors. And I bought it for 105 Canadian dollars, which is like that's not cheap, but it's also for a prom dress. I feel like it's like on the, on the low end, it's like women's fashion. It's not like the lowest, lowest, but it is a gown. There's a lot of fabric, so 100 bucks. I thought that was also a pretty safe purchase and this one took a little bit longer to come um, it took about a month to get to me because I think they make it kind of on demand as you place the order looking at the size chart I decided to pick out a US size 16 again in the navy blue so I'm gonna show you both these items I'm really excited now the hoop skirts like it came in a month ago and I was so excited I had to take it out and try it on it's a one size it's hard to get back in the box that it comes in but they do give you a little case to hold it on. So this one is just this one. The material, I mean, it feels like plastic. I'm not going to lie. It's got a lace hem. Um, it's just a drawstring around the waist. So it's pretty much a one size item. It's hand wash cold, made in China. It's just 100% polyester. And the hoops, I don't know if they are actually metal or if they're plastic. I don't know. I don't want to take it apart to check, but it seems like it would get the job done, you know? And then the actual dress comes in this nondescript packaging. Inside the packaging, it is all lined and ready to go here. Let's find the tag. Tag is actually in Chinese and I can't read it. So let's take a look at the inner construction here. It doesn't look like it's going to be the nicest to touch your skin. It's like kind of a harsh mesh. And then it looks like more polyester, almost the same fabric as the hoop skirts below. Kind of like a see-through front and there's a bunch of beaded details on it. It actually looks pretty nice for the price. Looks like we've got some nipple flowers. That's a little odd. And to lace it up, we just have some um, it's probably more polyester closures. It does feel very heavy. And to be honest, it looks well made. I'm so excited. So I will say it does look a lot like the photo. It almost has like a Sleeping Beauty neckline in her Disney movie animated. Well, so far my impression, first of all, is quite good. The applique at the bottom is a little cheesy, and overall I think the dress itself is quite cheesy. But, uh, 
that's kind of the look that I'm going for. So I'm going to hop over to the other area of my house so that you can actually see everything on because everything is huge. And I don't really have a good setup in my house for that, so we're just going to be set up in the living room. But I'm going to try both of these things on for you, do a little like vloggy moment here, and um, let you help me experience this like childhood adult fantasy of having like a princess ball gown. Here we go. So this part just, I do think the inserts are metal actually, I can see the one here. I'm going to tie that around my waist. This already has fulfilled so many fantasies. I need to bring you back a little bit. which do seem to be long enough for me, which is exciting. And it does make a very puffy silhouette, which I am living for. Everything seems to fit real nice. I just need to figure out how to lace up the back now. shoulder area is divine it's got these like straps that kind of hug your body and then the actual like decorative straps just kind of like hold on there beautiful um yeah it does up with a, like a little corseted back so in terms of like fitting in it i think it's pretty lax uh for sizing 
And then in terms of poofiness, this is pretty much everything I could have hoped for. Uh, it fits with the hoop skirt absolutely perfectly. Um, it's not like particularly heavy.